In this video, we are going to implement quickly this Shed CN sidebar that is going to work both in light and dark mode, and it's also working both in mobile and desktop view. You are not going to believe how easy it is to get this professional looking sidebar with all this like user management pop up, these drop downs, collapsibles, and all the things that are needed inside one sidebar. And I would really like to know what do you think is ShedCN winning the UI library UI collection battle? Now, with this new sidebar, with all the new stuff happening around V0 and Recel, I really think it is here to stay. 2025 is definitely going to be interesting in web development. And I'm really curious. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? And let's start. Flashbang warning. What we have here is the latest version of Next.js, and that's 15.0.3, and it is running here with Turbo Pack. So what we need to do now is to put the ShedCN sidebar here, and it needs to work throughout our whole application. So we are going to the ShedCN documentation, and here we are going to the blocks page. On this page, we have a variety of different sidebars, and the most favorite sidebar in all of the ShedCN community is definitely number seven. So we are going to use that one. So first thing I'm going to do is to copy this npx shedcn add sidebar 07 command. And good thing to know is that this is also going to initialize shedcn for us. So we can just paste this command npx shedcn latest add sidebar 07 and it's going to do all the work for us. So yes, we're going to create a components.json file. We're going to use default stone and yes, we're going to use CSS variables. And for all these React 90 things, for now, I'm just putting use force and we hope that everything is going to work. Let's see. Use force also for this one. And now all the components should be installed. Here it is. So what we get is the dashboard page. We have the app sidebar. We have nav main, nav projects, and a lot of components like button separator sheet everything that is needed for our sidebar now we can just go to this dashboard page that was created also by shed cn and let's see what are we going to get so i'm typing here dashboard and here it is it's already working so we have here our sidebar which is working both in mobile and desktop view and we also are getting here some kind of like content page where we can put everything i mean it already looks like some kind of admin dashboard and we have here our navigation items with our drop downs also here we are getting some user management drop down popover or however it's called in shed cn and some links here this one is not working more and this one also so let's see how this looks inside of our code so I'm going to my terminal and here I'm going to type in code and then dot and here it is. I got my sidebar opened inside of the cursor AI and we can go to our components directory and here we can see our app sidebar.tsx component. This is probably the most important component from the ShedCN sidebar because here we can see inside of our dashboard page that it is used here so here we have the sidebar provider and then here it is it's the app sidebar that's being called to show the sidebar here an important thing to know about the app sidebar is that here we are defining our data which is basically our navigation items and everything is controlled from this object so you can see that here we have our navigation items. So if we change the title for our playground to be some kind of orc warrior ground and here we save, we are getting it instead of this one. So you can play around with it. You can put your own navigational items. You can try it out. And what is maybe a good thing is to put this data to be external. This one can even come from some database from backend. And you can use it also inside of some header or, I mean, wherever you can imagine it to be, like this data is not stuck with this app sidebar. It can be wherever you want. So let's put this sidebar quickly on our index page here. 
So we want this default Next.js content to be on the right side, and here we want to have our sidebar. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to the ShadCN documentation inside the components, and here we are going to our sidebar. So it should be extremely easy. Let's see. Uh, here it is. So we have here our layout. So we need our sidebar provider, app sidebar, that's the component that we were looking at, and the sidebar trigger. And we just need to wrap it up and inside to put the children. So we are going to copy this one and we are going to the layout file. And here, let's see, here it is. We have our children here. We have HTML, a body tag, and here are fonts. So we are going to put it here and delete our children. So we are importing the sidebar provider app sidebar and sidebar trigger and we are saving it so now let's see here it is so it's working just like that we just copied everything and placed inside of our layout and now whatever new page we create we are going to have our sidebar here and our content on the right side great thing to know is that it's also working in all the themes from shed cn and it's working with dark and light mode so let's quickly install here dark mode next.js we are going to add next themes inside of our terminal so i'm going pm pm add next themes and then we need our theme provider i'm just going to put it inside the components here so theme provider dot tsx i'm pasting it here and also here we're going to put it inside of our layout so we are going to wrap up the whole thing here together with the sidebar provider and here so we are importing it and now we need our mod toggle and we are going to put it inside of our sidebar so let's see how are we going to do that so here i'm adding mod toggle.tsx pasting it here it is so now it should work here we have already the dark mode we can see that one let's see what's the problem here we need to suppress the in our layout here in html we need to do suppress hydration warning like this and now we are not going to have that error anymore so let's try to add here the mod toggle i'm just going to put it next to the sidebar trigger here it is so here i'm adding our mod toggle and i'm going to import it from the components folder here it is and nice it's here so here we can change from light to dark mode that one is working this one should probably be some ghost button but we are not going to change that one now and it's really looking nice in dark mode and it's really easy to implement so i'm definitely going to use this shed cn sidebar in all of my future projects where i actually need the sidebar you have all this code in the description below and if you need something else just tell me in the comments and for more content like this subscribe